Hey, this is Ryan from Prince George Fuel Injection. Today I've got a disassembled 6 liter power stroke turbo. I just wanted to show the VGT side of it and talk a little bit about performance issues. Now, the, everyone knows that these turbos are quite commonly known for sticking. And uh, the main cause of that is actually corrosion. And I just kind of wanted to talk about why that occurs and some things to look for. Um, even though it might not be noticeable to the uh, owner of the vehicle, because a lot of times performance loss can happen over a long period of time and it isn't as noticeable to someone that drives it every day. Uh, like I was saying, corrosion is such a big issue with these and unfortunately, specifically in a 6 liter, because almost every engine has experienced an EGR cooler failure, where you get coolant pumped through the turbo and right through the VGT mechanism. So you end up with corrosion building up on the center housing and it can uh, cause the unison ring to bind either by sandwiching it or the inside diameter of the unison ring can get wedged onto the center housing because of corrosion building up in between. Now, unfortunately what happens when this occurs is it creates a great deal of resistance and this turbocharger is uh, specifically driven by oil pressure on this piston. So you're dealing with hydraulic pressure so there's a d fair amount of force going on uh, when trying to turn this unison ring and if it is binding or sticking it's going to create a lot of friction and load on this control pin and the unison ring. Now I know there are aftermarket unison rings available from uh, certain suppliers uh, but the problem is you replace the unison ring and you're not addressing the wear on the pin, which can be quite severe, like in this case. And also, um, different types of binding can cause wear in different areas, and obviously with age you can develop this as well, but the tabs on the uh, veins themselves can wear quite badly, and these are not available separately. And this is an issue we see with rebuilds, where these get reused. So you end up with a lot of play, even if someone attempts to clean the corrosion and free the turbo up again, the damage has already been done unfortunately, because by the time someone realizes that they are having a performance issue or a wrench light on the, in the dash or the vehicle goes into limp, uh, the damage has most likely already been done to the turbo. So um, these are some of the areas to look for. Uh, as far as wear goes. Uh, corrosion it is a big killer because when it, when it attacks and when it eats away at the housing, if you try and clean it, you really end up causing um, more play in the system again, where this whole stack together is supposed to create somewhat of a seal. If, if you end up losing um, or creating more of a uh, a gap between the unison ring and the veins, you uh, essentially create an internal exhaust leak where you're losing drive pressure past the veins. So uh, you're not getting as high a velocity going through the veins, it's kind of all going around and past and you'll end up with uh, poor performance and lag. And these trucks need kind of all the, the help they can get because they do make peak torque at 2000 RPM. So what to do as far as the, uh, these turbos go? Um, Remanufactured turbos have been uh, hit or miss. Uh, even Ford is using international reman turbos and they are not OE parts. But uh, fortunately, and I'm, I'm trying to make this aware, uh, make people aware of this today, is that Garrett has come out with brand new turbochargers. And their latest version has 20 engineering updates. And uh, before people get scared off by the word new, these turbos are much cheaper than the turbos you can buy from Ford. And they are the OE turbo. Now, they have, again, 20 engineering updates. Uh, some of them are proprietary, so they're not released. But um, one of them, which you can see on this uh, turbo here, 
is uh, they've machined a groove or a recess into the center housing that allows um, for more room for, or for moisture to move past the unison ring and also reduces the surface area that the unison ring rides in so you um, can prevent the binding of the unison ring itself. They've also changed the design of the veins and the metallurgy so that you don't end up with the extreme tab wear on these. Um, the other great feature that uh, not a lot of people talk about is when you get a Ford Turbo, they don't come with a control valve solenoid. So this solenoid um, is new in the six, new 6 liter turbo obviously. And they also have a new filter screen that on a rebuild, you don't know if you're going to get that or not. And again, you don't know how many miles are on a rebuild turbo either. So in this case, um, everything is new. Um, there is a website that you can go to. It is 6 literturbocom uh, You can spell it out, S-I-X, or just use 6 as well. And that is the Garrett website. It will give you um, some information about the new turbocharger and also a dealer locator. If you look as far north as you can go, that's us at Prince George Fuel Injection. Uh, great turbos. When you put a new turbo on a 6 liter, it performs better than you can imagine. Um, just, well, it would be better than new. So um, definitely, you know, if you're in the, you know, in the market looking for um, repair on your turbo, take a look at the website and see if you can find a dealer near you because, um, you know, that's a cheaper option than the dealer in a lot of cases for these turbos. Uh, we keep these all in stock, and if you want to drop by our website as well, it's uh, dieselpro.ca. we got some tech info links and stuff on there that uh, people can uh, look at, and if they want to get a hold of us, they can email or give us a call. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.